Black Rig today in Boyne City with an update to a story we brought to you previously. I'm speaking with the executive director of the Boyne City Main Street program, Lori Meter, and the sculptor of an upcoming project, Martha Salfridge. Ladies, tell me about what new is happening with the last River Draw campaign. Well, I think the last time you and I talked, um, we were just beginning our crowdfunding campaign. Uh, to raise $25,000 locally so that we could get a $25,000 grant, matching grant from the state of Michigan. And uh, so we were really pushing hard to hard to get that done. And we did accomplish it in April. Um, we actually raised a little bit more than we needed to, which is great. And uh, cool story is um, just about when the campaign was over, because if you don't hit your $25,000, you get nothing so you have to give the money back and you don't get the grant so mm -hmm. we were we were just days from being at, at our deadline and i got a call from this nice man out in colorado who started asking questions about the uh campaign how we were doing asking about um what in terms of a donor what he gets uh for the for being a, a sponsor and so we talked about it and had a nice conversation and i was about halfway through the through the conversation when he told me, his name was Bob White, he was a descendant of William H. White who started the lumbering industry in Boyne City. So it was like just a, just a perfect kind of way to, to end our campaign. He did commit to the last $2,500 that we needed to put us over the hump. And uh, he was actually here with his family for a reunion in June. And we were able to kind of meet him, give him an update and uh, now we have some more new friends that love Boyne City. So Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. So it really came full circle for the whole intent of this project, bringing the history of Boyne City's logging industry to life. And the person who was behind all of that, really the descendant, right. brought it to life. Right, right, right. And we had, uh, I think there were about 25 uh, white descendants here for the reunion. Oh, wow. And they're all really excited about it. So That's great. And other yeah. than that, the community gave everything before that. This has been so supported by the community. Yeah. Has. We had we had all sorts of awesome fundraisers. We had uh, businesses in the community that um, did challenge grants to say, I'm going to do this and I will match anything that other people do up to a certain amount. So we probably, I, I would estimate, we had 500 or 550 people involved in this campaign, either helping with the fundraising, being a part of a fundraiser, or donating directly. It was really pretty cool. It brought it was a it brought our community together and everybody owns this project. Absolutely, and it's going to continue doing that. So Martha, you're the sculptor behind this beautiful project. Tell me about some of what you've done so far. Well, so far I built an armature and created the uh, the life size piece of out of clay and it's a it's a um, oil-based clay it'll never never dries out so we'll make a mold from this now that he's completed uh, that's just the the next step there's many steps to go but <laughs> <laughs> yeah and there's Wait. been a lot of steps going into it I mean yes. if you look at the wall you really you haven't just been creating the piece you've been researching to make sure that you create the piece true I to have. its history yes just studying all these loggers and what they did and and how young they were and right. you know what size they were and it looks rough i know but so yeah. this really represents just, someone who really worked yeah. in the, the oh, yeah. lumber industry here in boyne city definitely and so when do you expect this project to be complete by officially i think it will be done by late fall this year that will be awesome we want to get it installed before before the snow flies yeah, so. well, that will be great. We look forward to a, yet another update when that happens, just to see oh, yeah. Boyne City's we'll first permanent and... installment of a, of a sculpture that belongs to the city. That will be great. Yes, and it will. It will belong to the city, and they've done so much to bring it. Yes. Yeah, well, they've... thank you, ladies, so much for all your work that well, you've done in you. this. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yes, absolutely. In Boyne City, I'm Abigail Blackrick with My News 26.